All right, hello. Well, we made it, but not where we were anticipating going. Uh, we ran out of beach. The tide came in too fast, uh, not accurate to the chart. So we're stuck on the beach, about a mile and a half away from the river where we were supposed to camp. Um, it's pretty nice, as you can probably hear. What's that? It's really nice. And showed you earlier, uh, it's just a nice secluded beach. Somebody about 200, 300 feet down the way. Same thing happened to them, it looks like. There were nicer spots right where the trail ended, but there was a ton of people. If you hear the buzzing sound, that's that bee walking right on the camera. There he goes. Huh. Yeah, we've been uh, having fun and hopefully the water doesn't come up here. I'll give you a little panorama of our campsite. Alright. There's Alex, the fearless one. Hi. Caught two bears and one raccoon on the way over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're pretty much right on the beach here. There's our bags, which are about twice as heavy now that we're here for some reason. I don't know. So we have a nice little hours. fireplace. Yeah, four hour hike makes your bags much heavier. Yeah, Especially so. when it's like 40 pounds. And I'll show you the, the rocky outcropping that did us in where we couldn't cross. Right there. Tide hit too far up, and there's no land way of crossing. Not to mention, we gotta go all the way down the coast there and across that rock outcropping. So, we might do that in the morning. We'll see. We'll tune back in after we uh, start our little fire switch and uh, eat some food. I think we're hungry. Eat stew or gumbo. So. And I'll leave you the moment. It's only about five o'clock. Our tide chart said six was our last chance to cross. Obviously it's more like 4.30, so we'll have to compensate next time. Some beautiful sounds of waves. been about an hour since our last recording and it's pretty early still about six o'clock tides about as high as it's gonna go I think I we'll have the fireman in action over here I'll show you what he's doing there we go hey guys. Got a nice little fire going Pretty big fire. Kind of secluded from the rest of the cove, so if there's anyone walking, they can't tell we got a nice big fire. We're only supposed to have small cooking fires, is the rule. So, campsite hasn't progressed much. Water's all the way up now. Don't know if you can see with the glare of the sun. View over there. Sound of the waves. Can't get enough of that. And we probably got another two, three hours till sunset. And nothing else to. All right, guys. Testing out the less shroud from Survivor Man camera angle. Camera on the tripod looks kind of weird. Kind of fixed to me. Panoramic view. We're testing some of his theories this time. First of all, is there enough garbage on the beach or anywhere else? There's my coworker there. I'm not solo on my quest. To make stuff out of. 
I suppose earlier in the day we'd probably make some sort of water collection device <sighs> using an old two liter bottle. A little beat up, but uh, that would work fairly well. And uh, looks like we got some, some sort of frosted flake scan, another water collector. Amongst other things over here. The beach is just littered with garbage. But this is a popular spot, so I can imagine that happening a lot. Hey, Alex. Say hi. How's it going? Yeah, we're just finding a bunch of garbage. I see a bottle over there, some paper. Not too hard to start a fire if you have a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, 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 <laughs> <laughs> we kind of cheated on that one. Tomorrow night, though, we're going to try to go, go retro and not use a lighter. And another drinking bottle. It's a bunch of stuff on the ground. Not that bad, actually. We needed to uh, make some bedding. I found an old net. Looks kind of gross, but it's fairly soft. Nylon. Use it for rope. So you can see. Tons of beach bugs going on over here. And I'm probably boring you with all this mumbo jumbo, so I am going to let you go. Give you one more pan of all this garbage we found here, all these water containers, and there you go, look at that. Maybe we'll pick some of it up before we leave, we get Samaritans. Lots of bottles, look at that. I don't know if you can tell through the camera. We only came here 20 feet years ago, so it's not our fault. Bottles, cans, all sorts of garbage. All right, well, I will talk to you guys a little later after we have dinner, maybe during sunset. All right, well, adventure number one. We are making some uh, clam chatter like potato stuff. It's coming along pretty well. Right there, it's kind of boiling. We ran into a problem. We can't stir it can't really drink it, it's too chunky, and we don't have a spoon. So I put Alex on the spot, and he's going to use the debris we found on the beach, the garbage, anything to make a makeshift spoon. We'll see how he does, and until then, of course, clocking out. Well, we made our spoons. Let's see here sun in my eye. Grab a water bottle. We got a multi-tool that we conveniently brought with us. We uh, cut it up into a little makeshift spoon. So, I guess if you have garbage, you have tools. Isn't that right? What? There's Alex's tool. Where's your spoon? There you go. Nothing like a plastic bottle. Save the day. All right, well, we're eating dinner. And uh, sunset's coming up, so we'll see you then. Of course. All right, guys. It's uh, getting close to sunset. Let's get you out of the sun here. What you can see, we got the little light turned on. It's getting a little dark. Alex has something to show you guys. Go ahead, Alex. That is some sort of beach shrimp, shrimp bug. Of and what he likes to do with these, and we'll come back to this in a second. Go ahead, show him what you do with it. Oh. Stick it on a rock that's really hot, like this one. And so he cooks it on a rock. Wait. If you notice this piece of wood has bugs living inside of it and as we burn the wood they try to come out. Like potato bugs or something. Futile attempts at life. So he's cooking his bug. While that's cooking, I'm going to point you over here. Got my camera set up on the beach over there. 
after some sunset uh, photography. It's fairly red. Kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that. Beautiful sunset. Looks, looks like a stick of light star on the end. Looks very orange in our eyes. I have no idea how it looks on camera. Beautiful though. Rocks. We're still in the same spot. Probably come back to you in the morning. And the bug is pretty crispy by now. You gonna flip him over or you think he's done? I'm gonna stick him on the other side. He's gonna get rotated. In our escapades, we have picked some cool looking rocks and take a few home to decorate the yard with, maybe. Yeah, I know. We have too much time on our hands. And I guess that'll be all until tomorrow. The stick is fairly hot, so I gotta use some chopsticks. Oh, are you still going? You're gonna eat it? I'm gonna eat it. All right, well, it's ready. Let's see it. Things about as crispy as it's gonna get. These are the woods by the beach. Nice, dark, green woods for bears to come out of. Oh, it's hot. Don't lose it. All this anticipation. You put it too close to the fire. The thing is fried. Let's, let's hear a crunch. Come on. We'll get a close up of this one. Use the lid as your plate. You think it's done? Hell yeah. The stick was about to burn. It's fried to a crisp. Yeah, we chopped off its head and it kept on kicking. You know, it doesn't seem very done. As crispy as can be. Let's hear some crunch. I'm running out of tape, dude. He's playing with his butt. You pervert. I have to remove that. Alright, we'll be back later. Alright, we're back. Just a little more cooking. Let's turn the light on. Light on. There's the light. We got our little bug. Hold on, don't move him around. There's our little bug, nice and crispy. Nice and crispy. Straight off the beach. He's about to become dinner. Wow. What's it taste like? It kind of tastes like fish. Crispy. Crispy, fried, salted, fried good. fish. Nice and salty like at a chance's house. <laughs> wow, that sun is setting and I gotta go take some pictures. So, until the morning, bye bye. Wilderness. What's up? You should probably turn the light on if you want to get a good picture. Well, I can see you just fine. And with my brother taking pictures, of course, of the cool orange and purple sky and the rocks and stuff there's like nobody out there alright try not to walk around it's going to be a long explosion and I guess I'll get back to you when the uh, explosion thing's off 
Okay, I'm back. And... Tomorrow... We are going to be going over to those little pointy rocks. Right around there is a river which feeds out to the ocean. This thing's got one heck of a zoom. Oh, that's... That's a smoke or something, maybe not. Uh, okay, there we go. So we're gonna hike from all the way over here down that way along there. Actually we're gonna go even farther that way. All the way over there. This thing's really out of focus or something. Anyway, the uh, glare of the tile looks kind of orange. It's really cool. Alright, we finally made camp. Or, well, we're finally in bed. Give you a little tour of our accommodations. It is dark now. Bandanas are handy when all you have is boxers, socks, and a pair of shorts. Great pillow there. It's really soft. All right, and that's our tent, and then this is our view, and I'm going to turn the light off of the view. Can you see it? It's dark out there. I didn't even really look like it, but it's pretty dark. And here's our fire. We left the big fire going. We're on the ocean. I figure we're okay. Nice and dark beach. Quiet waves and put us to sleep. Alright, see you in the morning. Or we're gonna die due to the grizzly bear attack. Either way, good night. Try turning on the camera, maybe. Good morning. We totally overslept. I guess the ocean has its soothing sounds to send you to sleep. We slept for a total of 10 ridiculous hours right behind us. First thing you notice is beautiful rays of sun streaming in through the forest. It was very wet this morning. Yes, the ocean must produce a lot of moisture from all the waves. So our tent is soaked. Sleeping bags are good though. It's a good tent. And Alex is hungry. <laughs> so we're going to eat something and uh, figure out if we're gonna go and explore and where we're gonna go. But until then, bye. Good. Well, here we are again with the little... Sure, we're tired of seeing the same beach over and over again. The same beach over and over again, okay. Okay. So in reading the instructions, Alex forgot to notice that on our dehydrated food, you add boiling water. So now we have to compensate and boil the food and cook it like you regularly would. Thank you, Alex, for not reading the directions right. You're welcome. Anyway, there's Mr. Complainy Pants with the fork we just happened to find and clean and sanitize and stuff. On the beach. And, yeah. There's our little tent thing with Boris's pink sleeping bag. Hey, shut up. <laughs> it's black on the outside. <laughs> and we are going to be heading in that direction, that way. Okay, over in it. All right, we've broken camp now. And as you can see, there's no sign of us being there. No signs. 
now we're heading out. Now we're heading out to the rocks. Transmission over. Well, we weren't going to come back this early, but just discovered a field of seaweed, as my partner Alex would say. Wonderful, fields of red. Wonderful fields of red. Check it out. It's not really red though. It's a little brown. Ooh. Back again, and uh, we were walking along a little trail here. Looks like some some footprints of some sort. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going all the way up here. So we were just following it. Thought it was like a bird or something, but it ends up being some little teeny crab. Right there. And yeah, just thought it would be cool to document some trails starting from nowhere and go all the way to this little teeny crab. Okay. Walking along the beach again. Anyway, get back to you later. Well, we were uh, strolling along again and we found a nice big whale carcass what's left of it well what, yeah what's left of it I don't know if you guys can see this I never do right Part of the tailbone or the spine. that's a, a tailbone or spine whatever probably the spine I don't know and some bigger pieces right there bone and skin Fairly gross, stinks really bad. Better keep heading out though. But yeah, that's what left that's what's left of it. Anyway, I get back to you when we find something else that's cool. Alright, we're on our way. Sand point with the hylogryphic. I, I can't even pronounce the word right. Beautiful beaches we're passing. Interesting rock outcroppings. Hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs, that's the word. And if everybody sits still, you might be able to hear the sea lions. Everybody. So, anyway, probably a few hours before we record again, so that's the living stuff. Well, we've made it back to the Alava Point campground area. And as you can tell, the beaches aren't as nice as ours. It's all stinky seaweed and rocks. So, future note, do not point, do not camp at the cave. And one thing to note, where's your rock? That is the big egghead rock, as Alex calls it. Ape. What is it? Ape. Ape head. Ape head, head rock. That looks like an ape head. Uh, we are, <laughs> not sure where we are, Mark that marks a trail over there. Ah, I can't even see. We're tired. And we are out of water, which is not good. <laughs> we have no water. There's supposed to be a creek somewhere, but, or a crook, whatever the hell you want to It's a creek. <laughs> crook. So, Slain says there's a trail. There's supposed to be water. I have a guess that our water is over there. So, if we die of dehydration, nice knowing you. Oh, there's a breeze, so. We'll survive the breeze. I won't put you through that. Alright, well, we've had some developments. We, uh, we've been out of water, so we're a little dehydrated and cranky. However, uh, one of our uh, people we passed by, we got to chatting with, they had extra water, so we had some extra water. However, now we are out of water again almost. And for the first time in human history, this guy right over here, 
he actually walked down to the beach and he did the dishes. Imagine that. <laughs> uh, the look of anger on his face when I said that. It's amazing. So yeah, we have a beautiful beach as you can tell behind me. A little creek here. And uh, it's considered a water source by the uh, online guides, but uh, if you take a look, I don't know if the camera really displays it very well. It looks so, just so drinkable. I guess you got a filter and a chemical bath. <laughs> it is somewhat drinkable, but we're going to pass on that because we're not taking it anywhere. So, we are going to have some dinner and we're going to hike back to the car. We have water in the car, so three miles should take us a couple hours, maybe longer because we're pretty worn out now the end of day two <laughs> yeah we're we're city boys we're sissies I'm gonna show off my new uh, uh, $17 cooker there on top of my uh, $3 special propane tank small light and portable there's Alex trying to cook notice a splatter of food on his belly <laughs> he thought he could eat it before cooking it Maybe he can, but uh, I don't know. So There's yeah. Skin, what is it? Gumbo chicken of some kind? Well, chicken and sausage gumbo. Yep, so yeah, he's he's the cook of the show. So uh, <laughs> The bears yeah. are gonna have fun eating me. That's dinner and you'll probably be watching this video in less than uh, less than a day. So uh, we will see you then. After we eat dinner and hike our asses back home. And mom's probably watching this like, they must be hungry. Somebody wrote a peace sign on the ground. Yeah, if you can read telepathy, we're on our way home in about three or four hours and there better be a good dinner waiting because we're hungry. That or we can just go eat fast food. Beautiful hey, you beach. Got that extra 20 bucks, didn't you? I forgot. And uh, you can camp on the beach past the designated campsites, which is right where we're on the border of. So, if we had water, we would be camping on the beach, in the sand, nice and pleasant. But we need a water filter. This type of water boiling doesn't get the minerals out. Church. So we will. Well, I don't know that for a fact, but I'm guessing. We will see you next time. Hello. We are back. We are uh, walking around here in this stinky full of forest. No, it's a nice forest. And uh, we've we realized the crashing of the waves <laughs> has uh, made us feel like it's no sound at all out here. It's too damn quiet away from the ocean. <laughs> you get used to those waves like shh, shh, shh all the time. Now we're in the woods, it's like creepy even. It's like a horror movie. There's not a bird. Another chirp, but we're probably just used to the yeah. crashing of the waves from two days of ocean. So we have to get used to peace and quiet and again. Small mishap. He forgot to calculate the four-hour drive home. Yeah, it turns out this is blazes way the hell out here. So uh, yeah, we'll be home late at night, and we will probably call you as soon as we have a reception and let 12, you know that. Twelve thirty or so. Yeah, we'll be alright. Yeah, we'll be home tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, over and out. Yeah. It's a beautiful trail. You guys should try it sometime. Yeah. You can camp right on the ocean if you want. Pass, to the, pass into the forest is 15 bucks. Just don't have... Don't deal with the bear canisters. Yeah, no bear canisters. And no 40 pound packs either. Have lots of water. Keep on going. Bye bye. Okay, see you later. He's leaving. Got tired of his talking and whining and complaining. Egg tree. Alright.